Welcome to another video in the Fable TLC modding guide series where I will try and explain the basics for people who are new to modding Fable and help them learn the things they need to get started. This will include guides on how to install certain software, such as the tools used for editing the game's data, along with explanations to avoid certain mistakes. This time we will be looking at the free roll map which is fairly small in comparison to other mods you might have installed, but still serves a great purpose for those who can't get the chocolate box program running, or anyone who wants to walk outside the boundaries of a map. As the name of this mod suggests, it allows you to roam freely outside the intended parts of the map. If you open up chocolate box's region editor, and use the walk function, you will notice that only certain parts of the map are traversable. However, Free Roam changes this by making every part of the game's map a designated path for the player to walk on. This can help them go through certain objects or walk over inclines that the game would normally prevent you from accessing. This can be great fun for people who want to take a few screenshots, make a mod that edits the space outside the intended map area, or just use Albion from a different perspective. Now that you know what free roam is all about, I will show you where to find the original source file. Remember that if you don't want to access the sites shown in this video, a link that's uploaded by me can be found in the description below. You start by opening up your web browser and going straight to Google. Look for Fable TLC mod, all one word with no spaces in between. Then the link you want should appear as the top search result. This time, you want to access the wiki section of this website. It contains a lot of useful information relating to Fable modding, which I highly recommend if you ever have the time to read up on it. Anyways, use their search function in the top right of the screen and simply type in free roam. There should only be a single result, which is the one you need. Feel free to read the short tutorial on how to install the mod, but don't worry if you don't understand what it means, it will become more obvious later. For now, just download the zip file from the link shown and then tell your browser that you want to allow this file to be open. Once the download's finished doing its thing, open up the zip file and just extract it to any folder on your computer. I just use a fresh new folder on my desktop as an example of this. It should only take a second or two to extract since it's only about 50 kilobytes. Now you are free to start installing it. Make sure you have a fresh installation of the game, and then open up the program. A little window should pop up like this. Click File, and then Open at the top of the program, and look for your game's level folder inside its file directory. There you can locate the .world file that's asking you to open. There isn't really anything in the way of pop-ups to inform you that what you're doing is working, so you'll just have to take my word for it. But you aren't done yet. Click the giant button that says RIP, and then go outside the level folder. This will start dumping what you need in order for the mod to work. It also unlocks the level files for people who want to play world edit mods but can't seem to get chocolate box to work and sort out their modding environment. There you go. Now free roam is installed and should be working. A good way to test this out without loading up the game is to go into chocolate box and open up the region editor. When entering walk mode, every space should now be greyed out. This is shown everywhere you can walk on a map. From this point you are free to load up Fable and mess around with the mod. This affects almost every map too, including demon doors. The only real exceptions will be enclosed maps like the arena, the prophet's chamber, and the hall of heroes. While we're in the game, I will show you some examples of things you can and can't do when using this mod. Here, I am able to walk around the transition marker that would teleport you to the picnic area. However, if you plan to reach the picnic area from here, you will realise that there is still an invisible wall. That's because anything beyond this point is purely visual and isn't actually a part of the map. The picnic area is its own map, so quests wouldn't work if the two maps were physically connected, if that makes sense. Now for something I imagine everyone who hasn't used this mod before would ask themselves. Can I go for a swim? The answer is yes, of course you can. However, since it's not an intended feature of the game, you will notice this weird camera glitch that only shows you what is above your character's head. Once you're in the water, it might also be challenging to get yourself out. But a handy dandy trick that I tend to use is to just roll through it, since you can only roll in a fixed direction. 
I believe that sums up everything to do with free roam. If you have any questions about the process or if you've made any form of mistake, just feel free to let me know and I will try my best to answer as quickly and as briefly as possible. Thank you for watching and next time I'll see about going more in depth with Shadownet, but that might take a while.